Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deshwin. Most people call me Des. Feel free to call me whichever. Sometimes I get so sick of saying that, y'all, but I don't know what else to say. But today is a special day because we are doing an apple cider vinegar soak on my locks. I'm about to be six months locked October 10th. So that's in like a week or so. So I'm really excited to be doing this for the first time. I've never done an ACV soak with my locks, not the second set, not the first set. So this is gonna be my first time doing an actual soak with my locks. I've done plenty of rinses with my loose natural hair, but this is gonna be different because I have locks now. To do this, since I have to actually soak my hair, I went ahead and got this, hold up, easy inflatable shampoo washing basin. Fun. I have to blow this up so I'm gonna do that and then I'll get started in this video y'all if y'all got an air pump or something and you get this use the air pump I know we have one but I'm an independent woman I don't want no air pump but if you got asthma for sure don't do this I finished this is what it looks like blown up it really wasn't that bad you know this crease won't go away but i'm assuming it's because there's like an indent in there for your head this is support your neck little plug on the inside there to drain it and it comes with a tube to drain so i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna get all the ingredients out for this soak give you guys the measurements and everything and we're gonna start this asap because I still got this blue on my hair and it got to go. So let's get started. Oh, y'all, I got old lady bees, but I filled this up with pretty warm, not super hot water because I don't have someone to help me do this. And I'm not trying to burn my hands while I do this. The measurements are one fourth cup of baking soda, three-fourths cup of apple cider vinegar and I don't remember how much lemon juice but I got one lemon I cut it in half I'm about to use one half for each time I do this because I plan on doing this two times so that's what I'm gonna do the measurements for everything will be in the description so just take a look at that if you are doing this yourself and you need a reference also y'all my baking soda is like in crumbles so I'm gonna just take this ball and Toss it in there. Hey. Oh, that boy is warm. So the blue is definitely going to come out of my hair and taint the water but I'm gonna do this two times so y'all can see that the second time it won't have any blue and hopefully the water will be nice and clear. I'm trying to get as much of my head in there as possible. I'm also gonna flip around too and like five ten minutes to make sure I'm getting the front really good especially like at my roots up here because the water is not touching it but you can see like the water is definitely murky as hell like not even just from the blue that was in my hair it just looks murky and gross you want to make sure that you're squeezing your hair and massaging your locks to make sure that you are really loosening up anything that is stuck in there and getting it off of your hair along with periods of just leaving your hair soaking in the water. Yeah. I've probably been sitting like this for like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna do the front now. Each soak I did for about a total of 30 or 35 minutes. Some people that have had their locks longer or they do more with their locks may need to actually have their hair soak for 45 minutes to even an hour so 
it really just depends on your hair and what you think is best for your hair. This water is so murky and I honestly don't think that it's just because of the blue wax. I think it's just because I've never done an apple cider vinegar soak with all three sets of my locks in the past year so i'm actually gonna rinse my hair to make sure that the blue is out because for the second soak i don't want any ew look at that <laughs> i don't want any blue to be in the water at all i really want to make sure that this water ends up clear because then i'll know that the soap did what it was supposed to do so i'm gonna dump this refill it with everything and I shall be right back. I rinsed my hair, so hopefully no more blue. I already put everything in here. This water is much more hotter than before, so I really wanted to make sure that there's anything left in my hair. It was coming out. I cannot get this crap off my edges, so I might start head first in this bad boy. But if you guys are gonna do this, please, Get some extra towels, cause you're gonna need it. Oh my gosh, it's steaming. Y'all probably can't see it, but it's bad for me. Steaming. Why did I do this to myself? I can see the steam passing my eyes. All right, y'all, I'm gonna just sit here because this is so Hot. I didn't think it was that bad touching with my hand, but now that my head and my scalp is in it, it's like death. So I'm pretty positive that all this gunk that was on my edges was for me doing my edges. Sometimes I switch between using aloe vera gel and this got to be glued gel. So I really think it's because of the got to be glue gel that I use because that stuff is thick. And I don't always wash my hair after I do my edges, you know, so be careful if you're doing your edges, it's going to cause buildup no matter what. And that is what the water is looking like. It's pretty clear, so that's actually a good thing. Like I was saying, you want the water to be clear. That is the end goal here is to get your water clear. That's how you know that you've gotten everything that was stuck in your hair out. And then the next step is to shampoo your hair, which is perfect because i'm dying my hair tonight as well but i'm ending this video after i'm done shampooing because i am trying a new shampoo a clarifying shampoo and a moisturizing shampoo so i'm super excited because i smell bomb so i'm going to clean everything up get in the shower and show you guys maybe my new wash day routine so the more i go into my log journey the longer it takes to actually saturate my hair the first shampoo I am using is by Ren Pure. It is their charcoal detoxifying shampoo. It smells really, really good. And I really like this shampoo as far as cleaning my hair. Even though I just did the soak and my hair was pretty clean from that, I still felt like this just got off anything that could have been left on my hair and it made my scalp feel really, really good. To save some time, I'm just showing you guys me washing one side of my hair at a time with each shampoo, but I promise you I did wash my entire head with both shampoos. The next one is still by Ren Pierre, the rose water one. This one smells amazing. I love anything rose scented. It's just the best scent to me, so I love this stuff. I love the smell of this stuff. As far as hydration. I'm not too sure about that. It claims to be a hydrating shampoo, but I just was not feeling the love in the hydration department at all. So I'm not too sure if I would recommend this specific shampoo, but I still want to give it another chance because this is my first time using it. And who knows, maybe next time it will be a complete different experience.
Y'all, please take your time washing out your shampoo because the longer your journey is, the longer it takes to rinse out. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for joining me as I do my apple cider vinegar soak and try some new shampoo products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also let me know if you plan on doing an ACV soak or if you've already done one and what your experience was like. I would love to hear it. But that is all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.